Howdy, Immortalium here, and welcome to another discussion video. Um, I haven't actually done a discussion video for a while, you know, with a singular focus. Um, I did do an hour-long Q&A video recently, you know, where I answered people's questions, um, but, you know, that was kind of all over the place, me discussing, like, lots and lots of different topics, so it's nice to be back to something that's kind of singularly focused. And what is that focus? Well, as you can see from the title, it is sports anime and manga, you know, and it's, you know, lack of popularity in the West, so, you know, I'm not 100% sure as to why it is unpopular, um, but I do know that I don't have much of them, um, so I guess I best explain why I don't have much of them. So, uh, let's start, I can think of three reasons off the top of my head. Um, the first reason is the lack of discovery. Um, okay, so when I, you know, tr find out about anime series or manga series, um, quite often it'll be, you know, online, you know, I'll see other people reviewing it or discussing it, or I might, you know, be on um, one of those anime news sites, like, for example, you know, Anime News Network or UK Anime Net or something like that, and, uh, you know, they'll be reviewing a series or doing an article on a series, and I'll go, oh, you know, that looks really interesting, so that's one way I find out. I have some other, you know, um, ways of finding out about anime and manga series. For example, I buy some anime and manga magazines, um, you know, Neo and My M. I have some friends, um, you know, that's um, in the area uh, that are into anime and manga, you know, and they can tell me, you know, oh, this series is really good or really interesting or something like that. And uh, also, you know, I go to used bookstores, all that. So sometimes I might see a series in there and go, oh, you know, I haven't heard of this series, you know, um, you know, I better check it out. Um, so that's, but my main way of finding stuff out is online, that's what I will say. And what I notice about sports, um, anime and manga is that they don't get much coverage um, online, or anywhere else for that matter, so already, um, you know, there's a problem with me actually finding out about the stuff. Now, this next point is more focused towards the anime than the manga, and that is lack of release. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of sports anime that gets released in Japan. And um, the, we don't see much of that come out here. And, in fact, um, you know, it might come out in America. It won't come out in the, you know, UK or Ireland. Um, because, you know, it's a... Anime is already a niche. Once you start, you know, putting, getting, putting a niche inside a niche. Like taking sports anime. Um, you know, that's getting a very shrunken market. So, um, you know, that is that is quite problematic. Of course it applies to you know, manga as well, manga series not getting uh, releases. Something I will touch on more in a little while. Um, but this next one is kind of the kicker. This is, you know, where I find it the most annoying. And that is, you know, out of print series. Um, because of the lack of popularity of these titles, um, a lot of them go out of print. Um, you know, like they'll have their initial fans who, you know, will buy all the volumes and all that. But after that, um, you know, Viz or, you know, Yen Press or whoever are distributing the titles, um, you know, won't release any more volumes because, you know, of the lack of interest in it. So, you know, I might find out about this great series, um, you know, great sports series, and I go, oh, you know, that looks really interesting. I want to check that out. And I look it up on Amazon or Book Depository or something, um, and, you know, like half the volumes are unavailable, you know, like they're charging enormous prices for them. So, that is quite annoying. Um, so that's kind of my main reasons as to why I don't have much sports anime or manga. Um, which is annoying. Now, some of you might be wondering, you know, why, Immortalium, are you talking about sports anime and manga now? You know, it seems a bit of a sudden thing to bring up. You must have had some kind of revelation recently. And I wouldn't go as far as to say it's a revelation, but definitely this is kind of... Um, made me a lot more thirsty for this um, kind of genre. Um, so let me just show you a couple of things. One, um, something that I reviewed, or well, actually, I guess the last video I did, and that is One Pound Gospel. Now, One Pound Gospel is about boxing. It's also about, you know, it's a romantic series, and, you know, it's about food as well. But the main thing about it is the boxing. And it isn't a perfectly done series. You know, there are some flaws in it. It's a good series overall. But my main thing um, that it really made me hunger for was some more boxing manga. Um, for example, there's Hajime no Ippo. Now, Hajime no Ippo is, um, you know, supposed to be a great series. You know, it's insanely popular in Japan. It, but 
there is a second issue as to what, just besides the fact that there's a sports manga about boxing, and that is it's over a hundred volumes long. Um, even if it was like a fighting manga, it's an enormous commitment um, for a publisher to release, you know, 100 volumes of something. And um, so, you know, quite often they skip it. Um, they're kind of, they seem to be like trying to make an exception for that, which, you know, for example, um, Jojo. But Jojo's divided up into arcs. So it isn't, they don't have to commit as much, I think. Um, so anyway, that's just uh, kind of what One Pound Gospel did. The main one, though, and uh, this series really, you know, made me really want to check out some other series, and I can't, is um, Cross Game. Now, Cross Game, I've only read the first volume. Uh, the first volume being an omnibus from Viz, so that's, you know, the first three volumes. And I definitely intend to get more of this. All of this is out in English. But I was enormously impressed with it. You know, the artwork is really nice. Um, you know, the characters seem, are very deep and relatable. Um, there's some great drama. Um, I really like this series, and um, I'm definitely, you know, hoping to get more of it. But what's particularly annoying is um, the mangaka for this um, is very popular in Japan. You know, like, he's um, almost on Rumiko Takahashi levels, um, you know, in terms of, like, you know, being um, critical to the success of, you know, Weekly Shonen Sunday. And he's done, you know, a lot of very popular series. For example, Touch and Miyuki. But Touch and Miyuki have not been translated into English, which is annoying. Um, you know, this is actually a much later series from him. This was published, I think, it started around 2005, whereas those other two I mentioned, I think they're from the 80s. So um, I would personally have preferred to actually check out some of his early 80s stuff before moving on to one of his more modern stuff. But, you know, it's not, uh, not available. So um, I'll just have to stick with Cross Game. Now, all of Cross Game did get released, and as far as, uh, as, far as I see, they're all in print. Which is great, because I'm really looking forward to checking out more of the series, but it is annoying that I can't check out the other works from him. Um, so, yeah, that's annoying. Um, and I intend to finish that, actually, another series um, I just want to point out. This is one of the most popular, you know, manga and anime series that have ever been released. And, um, you know, it's, it's just barely getting by, I'd say, in um, the West, and that is Slam Dunk. Um, I don't think the Slam Dunk anime has gotten a release, so, you know, that's fine, I guess. The manga, until recently, it was very badly out of print. Now, it's come back into print, um, but, you know, the fact that it has only just come back into print shows how much less popular it is over here. In Japan, it's like one of the highest, you know, selling manga of all time, so... I just find that kind of crazy, you know, that there's such a sharp, you know, divide between you know, what's popular in Japan and what's popular over here. Um, so, you know, I think that's particularly interesting. Um, so that's mainly been about manga, um, I haven't seen much sports anime as well, like, I mean, talk about, you know, how niche the manga, the sports manga market is, sports anime market is, like, almost, you know, non-existent, at least for me, um, I think even in America it's quite non-existent, um, but, you know, over in the UK and Ireland it's, like, you know, nothing, um, except for one particular series, and that is Bamboo Blade. Um, Bamboo Blade is about Kendo. And, you know, Kendo, um, um, for anyone who's unfamiliar with Kendo, um, it's a Japanese sport. Um, it's kind of like fencing, except, you know, you wield these two-handed swords, made from bamboo, of course. You wear all these, like, really big pieces of armor, like shoulder blades and, you know, chest plates and, you know, helmet. And, uh, you know, there's key points you've got to strike, like the wrist and the head, the top of the head. And you can even do a neck one, although the neck one's particularly dangerous. But, um, you know, anyway, that's a really popular sport. Um, Bamboo Blade, um, the anime, um, I really enjoyed it. I saw this like maybe two years ago or something. I, it's been a good while since I've watched it, um, but I really liked it. You know, there's some great drama, some very great characters. Um, there's um, <laughs> some really good comedy in it as well. Um, and overall, it was a really enjoyable series, something I would highly recommend. And Yen Press have actually released a manga in English as well. Um, considering there's a bit of a cliffhanger that comes out of nowhere at the end of Bamboo Blade, which would be one of the few flaws I would find with it, besides the fact that it isn't quite as deep as some other stories, um, you know, I do definitely do want to check out the manga. Um, of course, the manga is a bit more pricey, so, you know, I kind of veer away from Yen Press unless there's something I really, really want, but definitely Bamboo Blade is one of the ones I want to get at some point. But that's my discussion on sports, anime, and manga. Um, it is, it, obviously, I'm no expert in this field, you know, I wouldn't be able to discuss, you know, like, you know, 
how companies try to release it and then failed and then um, like I know there's some good articles online I remember there's something from Anime News Network it was a big article um, written on you know how um, all these companies tried bringing sports anime um, over to America and it, uh, they just all bombed so uh, if, if if I can um, find that article I might actually include it in the, in the description below um, but overall I'd like to hear your guys opinions you know on um, you know, sports, anime, manga, you know, do you actively try to veer away from it? You know, I don't. Um, like, if, if a series looks interesting, I will want to buy it, as long as it's, you know, decently priced and, you know, in print and all that jazz. Um, and, of, of course, that it is interesting enough that it beats out other potential series I could get. Um, you know, that's all the, that I really wanted to say. Um, I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this, so definitely comment below. Um, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and bye-bye.